This is the Sujo Art Gallery. It's just down uh, right adjacent to the uh, Blue Wave Pavilion or the Kang Long Pavilion. I'm not sure how you get into it though. I guess the entrance is around this way since uh, you certainly can't get into it from over there. I spent about uh, 45 minutes going around the, uh, probably more close to an hour, going around the uh, Blue Wave Pavilion. It's the oldest in Suzhou, they say, although with all its uh, alterations, nothing in China exists in its original form, especially in this area, the Taiping Rebellion. So much uh, stuff was destroyed. A lot of the gardens, really all the gardens in Suzhou, were built as private uh, residences, incorporated into private residences of scholar officials. The well-off and the Taiping Rebellion was a peasant revolt seeking to overthrow the Qing. So of course they attacked the uh, and destroyed the homes and gardens in the wealthy cities. I've talked about it a couple of times now, but that's actually when a lot of uh, people fled into Shanghai and caused the first land boom, real estate bubble, <laughs> and the Shikumen housing went up to house all the refugees from uh, Jiangsu and Zhejiang province that fled into Shanghai to escape, uh, what was it, Hu Chang, the guy who led the uh, Taiping Rebellion? He was a Christian convert of all things. And he said, ooh, who? my name sounds like Flood. I'm Noah, I'm Jesus Christ, I'll just do whatever I want. <laughs> and he basically like surrounded himself with like uh, massive million strong following who were basically angry peasant farmers who wanted to get rid of uh, the Yan Wen Liang Memorial Sujo Academy of Oil Paintings. That's what this is, huh? Nine to five. Hello. Hello. Open. Thank you. Nineteen hundred, eighteen ninety three, nineteen hundred, nineteen thirty, nineteen twenty, nineteen fifty five, undated. I think he had like a harem too of uh, women that he surrounded himself with, like all good cult leaders. I'm the exception to my own rule. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Now have sex with me. <laughs> Anyway, it's venerated the Taiping Rebellion in uh, the People's Republic because uh, it's anti-imperialistic. Is this the Three Gorges Dam or just one of the many dams? Canal. Peasants carrying a burden and child. Still life. And plein air. What kind of tree is that? Chiangsam or Chipao in Mandarin. The uh, tight silk dress. Winter snow. Lingering snow on broken bridge. This looks like where I just came from. Dark blue pavilion, dark blue wave pavilion, the Tibetan mountains maybe, incense burner or tea.
set. This is all in Chinese. Su Chao, another way to spell Su Chao. In pinyin. Sucho, sujo, or sucho, 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 sucho. I pronounce the Z-H-O-U now like Joe. I just say Joe, like my dad's name, Joe. Because if I try to do the Joe, Joe, because it's really like a DG sound, then people correct you because they run over their syllables when they're native speakers, you know. So I just run over it too. No one pronounces it perfectly or else it sounds weird to them. Like saying, the Huntington Library. It's the Huntington Library. No one, no one pronounces the G, the Huntington. The Huntington, sounds like you're retarded or something. <laughs> you pronounce it that way. The Huntington Library. I went to the Huntington Library today. Oh yeah, I was over at the Huntington. I guess I'll go upstairs, huh? Could have a view over the canal though from the other side where I just was. Gonna lay down my sword and shield Down by the riverside Down by the riverside This guy lived till 91. No, 88 plus 7 is 95. Right? No, 96. No. I'm delirious. Uh, 7 plus 88 would be 290 carry the 595. Oh, notices are not out yet. Just little buds. Just little buds on the other side of the flow de lis. nice picture. Let's see if I can get the lotus in with it. Lotus. A little bit of lotus, a little bit of pagoda, Eve. Boom! I'm a painter. I'm a digital painter. There used to be an app in uh, Windows Photo Manager, like back in like the 2002 version or something that lets you like turn photos into a mosaic or a watercolor or a impressionist painting it was pretty cool. I don't know what happened to it. Let's see what's upstairs. I'm gonna lay down my heavy load down by the riverside down by the riverside down by the riverside. The more interesting attraction, I would say, is the dark blue pavilion, the dark blue wave pavilion, or just the blue wave pavilion. That most uh, folks come down the side street for. Oh, this looks like one of those Remington Night Series paintings. Remington did all those dark blue night scenes of uh, the west at night. Cowboys on the trails, sitting around campfires. They're in the collection there in downtown Fort Worth. The uh, Richardson Museum, is it? It's free and it's downtown. And it's real cool because it's all these shades of blue, which would have been real expensive until they invented artificial blue, you know? Because you would have had to be using cobalt, which doesn't give you a whole lot of variety in blue color. Or you'd have to be using uh, lapis lazuli pigment to get blue. That's why usually paintings like that, if they're going to use blue, it's tiny little flourishes. Very subtle and people go, ooh, look at the blue, look at the blue. Because you don't see a lot of blue usually in older paintings. Like Charlie Russell's Blue Boy, you know. 
Roman busts here for practice sketching. They have a cool gallery at the uh, Getty Center that has like sketch pads set up like that. You can go into and sketch for free. Most days it's set up. They do classes too. I think they're like 30 bucks and they give you a ticket to come back for free parking the next time. So it like essentially pays for itself because you get uh, free parking when you go and then a ticket to come back. So you'd be paying the 30 for parking anyway in two visits. The Getty doesn't have any kind of membership. So unless you do what I used to do, which was go at, was it Fridays? Certain times a year, I think it was after five or seven or something, they had free parking. Gonna lay down my heavy load. You know what this looks like? Remember that scene from Band of Brothers when they ambush right after on uh, D-Day? They uh, are waiting for that horse-drawn carriage of Germans. They ambush them and there's a bridge and they're in a gully. And uh, the sergeant from Philadelphia doesn't wait for the command because his brother died at Monte Cassino. Looks just like that. Pavilion in the mist. Pagoda in the mist, in the pavilion style. There's several different styles of pagoda and pavilion style of pagoda is one of them. So that's why you see them sometimes calling a pagoda a pavilion. I like what they did here. It looks like a door, but it's, oh, it is a door, but is it painted? Is it a real door or is it painted? No, it's a real door. So that's all there is to see, I think, here. <clears throat> a nice little diversion. Now it's decision time. Let me sit in this fabulous Bauhaus chair and decide what my next uh, move will be. Master of Nets, or do I go down here? Because Master of Nets has performances till at 7.30 and 9.30, so I assume they're open late. Or should I go over towards Remen Road, down past the mall, and over here to Rui Guang Tower and Yijin Fang? I think I'll do these, because I think Master of Nets is open late. <laughs> 